Hi folks, this is Chris from CDR Guns and today I'm going to be showing you how to correctly use your MX drain tool and also how to make a quick adjustment to the valve and rig and all that jazz. So tools for this you will need are the drain tool, 5mm allen key, 2.5mm allen key and 2mm allen key and because we're making an adjustment to the exhaust valve, needle nose pliers. First off, you want to make a dry shot in a safe direction just to make sure it's all clear because when you put the drain tool in you will be sending air down the barrel. So the first step is to go in there with your 5mm allen key and loosen your hand grip so that it can be taken safely out of the way. Next, you take the 2.5mm allen key, unlock the hammer adjuster. You then want to use your same 5mm allen key to remove the hammer adjuster. And the hammer spring completely. You then install the drain tool and vent it off. That will take a few moments while it vents. during which time you can use your 2.5mm allen key to remove this allen bolt here you can then remove once it's finished draining the draining tool 2.5mm allen key again to this grub screw here, loosen that, doesn't need to come all the way out, 2mm allen key, to remove this grub screw completely. Because there is a rather large moderator fitted to this rifle, I'm just going to pop the shroud off out of the way because that then allows us to remove the cylinder, which as you can see is completely empty. You then unscrew the cylinder valve end. And if you measure in line with the hole there, that plate should be from factory round about 21 millimeters recessed. If you wish to adjust it to increase the tension, you simply rotate like so to increase the tension or counterclockwise to decrease. I'm increasing the tension. And simply tighten it up.
reinsert the cylinder and when you do this you'll need to look through this hole to locate the little divot which I don't think the camera will be able to pick up but if you look through there you'll be able to see the little recess you can then take your 2mm allen key and put that grub screw back in then you can take the 2.5mm and, and tighten up the back of the cylinder if I fold the stock you'll be able to better see Hopefully I can catch the right light. You can see that there is a guide for the spring. When you reinstall the hammer spring, you do need to get the guide to go through the middle of the spring. Like so. Hopefully I can get the camera to focus on it. There we go. You can then reinstall your hammer adjuster. Which again, the guide has to go through the centre hole. Before I forget, two and a half mil Allen key to put this bolt back into there 